People have been making edits since the early to mid 70s. You know, you'd have your, your radio edit and with, with the boom of discotheques, you had DJs making longer mixes for the floor. You know, you might have a song that's seven minutes long, but has a few bridges and it strays away from the main groove, the pocket. And I think, you know, people just from being in a club environment, see what works on the floor. People making edits were not clearing things because there's just way too much red tape. You kind of need to move on it now. It's kind of an underground thing. You know, the guys in the forefront, the labels picked up on that and hired them to do so legitimately. If it was a legit mix, the credits would appear, hopefully would appear accurate. But uh, as far as bootlegs go, it would just be the, the title of the song. And if you're lucky, it might say, edit by Mr. K because uh, of the ramifications of, of what could happen to you in court. It can be very expensive when trying to put things out legitimately and you just end up sitting on something that, that should see a release.